Vijnanabhiksu was a Hindu philosopher from Bihar, variously dated to the 15th or 16th century, known for his commentary on various schools of Hindu philosophy, particularly the Yoga text of Patanjali. His scholarship stated that there is a unity between Vedanta, Yoga, and Samya philosophies, and he is considered a significant influence on Neo-Advaita movement of the modern era. Topic: Philosophy. He wrote commentaries in the 15th century on three different schools of Indian philosophy: Vedanta, Samya, and Yoga, and integrated them into a non-dualism platform that belongs to both the Vedabhada and Advaita non-dualism sub-schools of Vedanta. According to Andrew Nicholson, this became the basis of Neo-Vedanta. His integration is known as Avabhaga Advaita indistinguishable non-dualism". His sub-commentary on the Yoga Sutras, the Yogavadika, has been an influential work. According to Andrew Fort, Vijnanabhiksu's commentary is yogic Advaita, since his commentary is suffused with Advaita-influenced Samya Yoga. Vijnanabhiksu discusses, adds Fort, a spiritually liberated person as a yogic Jivanmukta. Influence. <inaudible> <inaudible> Nicholson mentions Vijnanabhiksu as a prime influence on 19th century Indology and the formation of Neo Vedanta. According to Nicholson, already between the 12th and the 16th century, certain thinkers began to treat as a single whole the diverse philosophical teachings of the Upanishads, epics, Puranas, and the schools known retrospectively as the six systems of mainstream Hindu philosophy. The tendency of a blurring of philosophical distinctions", has also been noted by Burley. Lorenzen locates the origins of a distinct Hindu identity in the interaction between Muslims and Hindus, and a process of "...mutual self-definition with a contrasting Muslim other", which started well before 1800. Both the Indian and the European thinkers who developed the term, "...Hinduism", in the 19th century were influenced by these philosophers. Works Little good work has been written in English on Vijnanabhiksu, and most of the texts in his large corpus have yet to be edited and published in Sanskrit, let alone translated into English. <laughs> Major works Some major texts attributed to Vijnanabhiksu include Vijnanamritabhashya, the Nectar of Knowledge Commentary, Commentary on Badarayana's Brahma Sutras, Ishvaragitabhashya, Commentary on the Ishvara Gita, Sankhyasara, Quintessence of the Sankhya, Sankhyasutrabhashya, Commentary on the Sankhya Sutras, of Kapila, Yogasarasamgraha, Compendium on the Quintessence of Yoga. Yogabhashyavadika, explanation of the commentary on the Yoga Sutras, Avyasa. Topic: <laughs> English translations. Ganganatha Jha, Yogasara Samgraha of Vijnanabhiksu, New Delhi, Paramal Publications, 1995. Jose Pereira, Hindu Theology, A Reader, Garden City, Doubleday, 1976. Includes translated excerpts from Vijnanamritabhashya and Sankhyasutrabhashya. T. S. Rukmani, Yogavadika of Vijnanabhiksu, New Delhi, Munshiram Manohalal, 1981. Nandalal Sinha, The Samya Philosophy, New Delhi, Oriental Books Reprint Corporation, 1979. Contains a complete translation of Vijnanabhikshu's Sankhya Sutrabhashya. Shiv Kumar, Samhyasara of Vijnanabhikshu, Delhi, Eastern Book Linkers, 1988. See also Unifying Hinduism book.